Good morning, it's Jenny. I'm back with a, another share for the um, Christmas 2020 or Christmas in July 2020 PHA challenge. <laughs> Not so long. <clears throat> but anyway, um, so I've been busy. I've I shared in my last video the stuff that I found that was already pre-made, um, like die cut it, die cut or um, we'll see die cut stuff. So, um, I didn't really feel like I had to do too much more die cutting. I think there's a few more things that I still want to make. So I will probably be doing that over the long weekend. But, um, during the week I don't have a whole lot of time because when I come home from work, then we, um, we go walking, we take the dog walking and then we come home, we eat and then it's like late already. So I don't have like a whole lot of like crafty, crafty time. So... Um, in between, what I've been doing is just um, getting, like, I guess, like, ephemera kind of stuff ready. So, I did um, purchase the Snow and Coco um, ephemera pa or element pack, uh, the digitals on AC Digitals, which is American Crafts. And I'm so dumb. Don't be like me. So, I, I guess I didn't realize that I had bought it before. I was buying other things. And then... Um, I didn't check. I should have checked that I already had them. <clears throat> so I bought it twice. <sighs> anyway, so I bought it. So now I have two copies of the same thing. Um, and then the other stuff I bought were not Christmas related. Um, but I do have to go through the rest of my digitals to see if I, there's anything else that I want to cut. Because I actually um, picked this one because um, for one thing it's super cute oops that was not and then for another thing is that well I've never used it before um I've never really seen this whole product line because when I was um when it came out I was not really crafting <clears throat> so I missed out on it and um I must have saw it um when I was going through AC Digital's files last Christmas um, but I didn't realize that you could still get the stuff. So anyway, I mean, I can always go buy the digital papers, but I, but I kind of don't really print digital papers too much, but I will print ephemera. So, um, I did get it and then, um, but I never did get the paper or the chipboard or that kind of stuff. So this is what all I have to play with, but I do like the colors a lot. Um, I think that it fits like what I like which is pinks and teals and you know that kind of stuff so I just sat there and I I printed out all the ones that I think I will use um, there's a lot more but I don't know if that I'll use all the rest of them so but some of them I have to like size better like these are just way too big like they're I don't know what I would put them on oh maybe I guess I could put it on like a, a paper ruffle thing yeah okay I'll anyway um so i might have to like print a few more to like size it down now that i know what sizes it turns out as because just like this deer like look how big the deer head is i guess I, again i could use it on the paper ruffle um but i ended up sizing it down to a smaller size deer but anyway so now i have a bunch of snow and cocoa stuff that i can easily um add to a project and again I a lot of it is I like it because of for one thing it's cute but also I like the colors okay and then so the other thing that I did was I was totally inspired by Christian's crafty advent adventures hi Christian so she um she's the one who's coordinating this whole Christmas in July thing for PHA and <clears throat> I talk like PHA like it's a real thing but, but anyway so um her and a few of her YouTube friends uh, thought that it would be a good idea to do a Christmas in July thing. So she was doing a live and on her live she was explaining what was going to happen, like the schedule and everything. But she also was coloring and I saw some of the stamp images that she was coloring and I pr was pretty sure I had it. And so I checked with her and she said, yeah, it's that Hello Bluebird um, stamp set. So... And I haven't really, to be honest, I haven't been in the stamping mood. Like, I, I'm, i like, avoiding my stamps. I don't know why. And so I was like, uh, do I really want to do my stamps? But it was coming out so cute that I'm like, oh, my God, now I want to do it. So um, 
that night I went home and um because I was I was watching it on my lunch break and then I went home and I found um I pulled out all my my Christmas styles which actually had boxed away and I wasn't gonna touch it I was only gonna do dyes but I brought it out and I picked through all the ones that I was interested in stamping and coloring and I stamped away and then after that same night I um I started coloring and um she was coloring I think using her distressing so I'm not totally sure she did another live yesterday and that live she was using um just Crayola markers I think uh, using her water brush so she was teaching everybody how to color from that but I prefer using distress inks um, I really don't know where my regular distress inks went I, th I totally thought I had a set of the minis but now that I clean my room I can't find it so I'm, I'm kind of sad because I, really, I still like my distress inks for watercoloring but I don't know so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do now I don't know if I want to reinvest in all of that I'm I'm hoping when I go home to see my mom, I, I'm pretty sure I have a set of distressing stare. I think it was the rest of my bigger ones that I didn't want to house here. So I'll probably have to bring that home so that I have um the full set. But um so because I didn't have the regular distress inks, I was using the oxide. So oxides are a, it's a hybrid ink, so it has some pigment but it's also like a dye ink too. So um, it gives you a little bit different results. It's To me, it's kind of chalkier looking. Um, I actually had to swatch it because it was, I don't know, I wasn't familiar with the colors already. Because when you look at the cover of the Distress Ink Pad, it to me, it seems brighter. So when you water it down um, using your water brush, then I feel like it's, um, here, let me get my other light in here. Then I feel like it's, it's bright, but it's also muted. Like it has like a oxidized finished. So um, it looks chalkier to me. Anyway, so I did do a few swatches just to make sure that which color I wanted to use. And oops, so um, anyway, <clears throat> I think that helped at the beginning. And then after I got used to using it again, then I knew what colors I wanted to, to use. So basically, I was gonna go for like uh um like traditional colors and then pastels, but I kinda changed. <laughs> um I did some in traditional colors, but and even that looks a kind of like pastels, but I think um what I gravitated more to was pastels and brights. So I guess I'm not gonna have real traditional colored stuff. Well, well, I gotta go. I still gotta go through my paper and see what I have, what I'm gonna be using because I might have to go back and make some more that are actually traditional colors. But anyway, so like I said, I busted out all my stamps um, of the images. I have more than this, but I wanted to highlight the ones that I've used that I've never used before or um, that I really really like. So it's. It's so much, but I love it. I love looking at it after it's cut out. Because, I don't know, for for some reason, when it's still on the paper, it looks more messy and um, less forgiving. I don't know. Like, sometimes I'm like, oh, I don't even know why I'm doing it. I don't, I'm not going to want to use it. And then after I die cut it out, or after I cut it out, I actually fussy cut everything. I feel like it looks cleaner. I don't know how to explain it. Um, so after um, I colored them, I painted them, I let it dry, and then I used um, stickles on some of the images. Not all of them, but just to give it a little bit more oomph. Um, and you can see like the color kind of like blended into the white. So, But I think it's still okay to use. So I have a lot, and I actually even stamped out like accessory pieces, which I don't normally do. I don't know, I'm just lazy, I guess. So, um, it was a good variety. So I did mostly like Greeting Farm, Mama Elephant, um, Hello Bluebird, some Lawn Fawn, and a few MFTs. I think those are all the companies. I mean, we like one or two Abriel. So, um, and they all kind of have that same look where it's like the dot eyes and you know, that kind of stuff. 
um, but I'm, I'm really happy with how they came out. And because they're on the watercolor paper, they're a little bit sturdier than, um, than even these. Like these, I, for some reason, my printer doesn't like thick cardstock. So it's, um, I had to find thin cardstock and then it prints a lot better. It doesn't smudge as much. So this is on like a Nina paper. It's not Nina Silver White. It's just like some cheap Nina cardstock that I found at Target. So, um... Anyway, so that's the um, the ones that I cut out. And then, um, these are the ones that I did last night. So I had a bunch left that I didn't finish coloring. So I um, I sat down and I, I just finished them. And look how cute they are. So these are the um, Hello Bluebird ones that Christian was coloring that made me want to color my. <laughs> it's so cute. Even all of these, they're so cute. I love them. I'm so glad that I finally used them. Like I bought them a few years ago when they first came out because I, I was like, oh my God, this is totally my style. And then I just stopped crafting. So I think this is an Avery L one. And I think this one actually comes with the, I bought the die. I don't usually buy the die, but I think I did buy it for this one um, because it cuts out his hand so he can actually hold these things. But, so we'll see if I'm going to fussy cut it or die cut that one. But I, I made a mistake on this. I think his, this is supposed to be red. I mean, not red, but it's supposed to be his beard, right? Santa, it's a Santa mug. So I think I colored that one wrong. Um, these are like Lan Fawn foxes. So I, I usually stamp two of each just in case I mess up. So like this one, like I look, I kind of messed up even the bear, but I'm gonna just use the bear anyway. But I totally messed up on the snowman, even though I was using the misty. The um, when I when you lift it up to check your image, the cardstock lifted with it, even though I had magnets down. And then I guess when I went to do it again, I thought I had put it back in the same place, which I usually line it up with the bottom corner, and I guess it didn't line up nicely, so. I can't. That's why those are not colored. Um, these are the MFT ones, and then I did add like um, what is it called? St stickles, um, just in some areas because I actually did um add stickles. I might have thrown it away. Um, I added stickles to like one of the snowmen early on, and I didn't like it. Like I tried to stickle the whole snowman to make him look more glittery um but i didn't like it and then the other thing i did and you can't even tell is on these and i have to go over it with the black pen because so sorry my mind is all over the place so when you use distress oxide inks because it has a chalky finish if you paint over the stamped image it's gonna like fade it out so now i gotta go back with my um, black pen and try and like bring those lines back um, but I also, on these first ones that I did, I tried to use my Wink of Stella on it. And I don't know why it didn't really work. Like, on, to the naked eye, I can kind of see a little bit of sparkle. On the camera, you can't see anything. But it's nothing like the stickles. So then I started using the stickles. And then, I like I said, I tried to use the stickles on some of the snowman um, itself but I didn't like how it came out so I ended up not doing that but I was kind of surprised that I thought it would be more shimmery so I don't know if it's because I'm using watercolor paper or what um a lot of times when you are and I heard a lot of I saw on the chat there was a lot of questions when Christian was doing her painting and um <clears throat> the best advice I can give you is that you really need to understand what type of medium you're using like if you're using watercolors or alcohol inks or whatever that will determine what ink you use and what type of paper you use so if you're interested on something like that I can actually do a separate video on that to help like understand all of that better and then um, it'll it'll help you and to decide like so if you're gonna work with watercolors this is what you should be working with so Anyway, so going back, so I did stickle all of the lights, and I think that that came out cuter. Um, these, again, these are sets that I, I bought and I just never used, so I'm glad I'm finally using them. See, so I did um, a set of the bright colors. This is like the pink, picked raspberry and all that. And then I did a set with the pastels, so that would be more like sponge sugar and 
cracked pistachio. And then some, like, oh gosh, I, like, had to practice first, so they're not colored the nicest. Like, you can tell I did this one first. Like, I don't like how the gray came out. And then this one was a little bit better. But I don't know if I would change it next time and just color him brown. But I wanted to do some, like, that were not brown, because most of them were brown. I did this guy in gray. I, I kind of like how he came out. He kind of looks like my dog. My dog has, like, a black patch around his eye. Oops, and then um, like this one, see, I tried to do just a patch and it looks funny. Ah, so sometimes you just have to play around and see. Oh, okay, so these are my Love Cynthia stamps um, that I did buy that were like more Christmassy or winter like, and I never used it. So I was happy to use those because um, her stuff is so cute. I love, I love Love Cynthia. And they're a pretty good size, like, they're a lot bigger than, um, than like the, what are these called? the hello bluebird ones so if i need like a bigger image i can do that these are the bright colors these are the pastels um and then i can't remember what brand this was i want to say not pretty pink posh pink and main i don't know it's a different brand but i i only liked it because i liked the bears i thought it was so cute that they were snuggling in the scarf <laughs> so this is the pastel set and then, um, this is, a uh, what is that called? I think this is Neat and Tangled. So that's all from the same set. That's so cute, yeah. And then this is an old Avery L. It's, like, super old Avery L. Snowbound. And then I tried to go back to some, um, what is it called? Like, um, traditional kind of colors instead of instead of all pastels but even then look how light it comes out i guess because it's watercolor so it's not too it's not too bright red like if you would use an alcohol marker oh my god these are giving me such a hard time like i was having such a hard time with these rain gear but they're so cute so these are like the mama elephant i think they're like planner stamps this guy came out funny so i didn't do him but i don't know why i was having such a hard time staying in the lines and then um I used the same color for his his fur and his antlers, and that was driving me nuts because I wanted it to be a shade darker. And then these came out junk. I can't even do that. <sighs> Sometimes it's just trial and error. So, and then I'm I'm showing this because um all my mistakes because. Sometimes I think it's good for us to see each other's mistakes. And I make a lot of mistakes. But um, I think it's good because sometimes I watch some of you out there that I think are perfect. And then I'm like, oh my god, like how do they make it perfect every single time? So I like it when you guys actually explain when you make mistakes. Because <laughs> then I don't feel like I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> and then these are um, these are Lan Fan. I really, this is my favorite deer stamps. Because um, they're so cute. And then these are, I think, are... Neat and tangled as well. So, I did a bunch of... Th I didn't um, glitter them at all. I didn't know where to glitter them. They're so cute, though. I love them. And these I stamped in the brown archival ink because... Um, I guess because they're deer. I don't know. I didn't... I don't know. Sometimes I'm, like, black. Sometimes I'm, like, brown. I don't know. Okay, so that is all of the stuff I've done so far um, to actually craft and make... Um, I haven't even started making the actual embellishments yet. I just needed to do all this prep so that once I start making like the rosettes or the bows and stuff, I actually have stuff to put with it. So I think I'm ready. I think um, we're heading into the long weekend now, which I'm super excited about. And um, I think I'm going to just lock myself in my craft room and that's what I'll be doing all weekend. Um, and then the great thing about embellishments is that it helps you create the next thing, like the actual project. So um, I like the way that they transitioned it, like they're going to do embellishments this week and then next week will be like, I think cards or gift cards or packaging or something like that. So it helps you to build for the following week and the following week. So you'll probably see these things over the next few weeks as I start to use them. Um, and then I, again, I might have other things such as more die cutting and all that stuff. But I think as far as images go, stamp images, I think I'm good. I don't know that I will necessarily bust out any other ones because I think I kind of sold off all the rest that I didn't like. The only other thing I, that I might have to do is like snowflakes because I know I have a ton of snowflake dies 
and I love how Snowflakes add to your project. So I, I did fussy cut a bunch here, but um, yeah, that's just the that's just a few, and it's a lot. It's a pain in the butt to cut these out, as you can see. I, what I have to test is um, I have a laser printer, so um, I don't know. I I think I can do it, but I think if I put stickles on it, I think it'll be okay. But when you use like a a what is that other ink? Um, you cannot because then the ink will start to smear with the stickle. So I have to test that out. And if that works, then I'll definitely be um, stickling up these Snow and Cocoa guys. Okay, well, that is my share for today. And I'm sure over the weekend, I will have more to share. But um, if you want to participate, all you have to do is whenever you post something, either on IG or YouTube, is use the hashtag... Um, Christmas in July 2020 PHA challenge and then from there if you do a search um, in YouTube I know for sure I don't know about IG I guess in IG too then um, you'll see everybody who used that hashtag on their project okay this has become quite a long video so I'm gonna stop now and I will talk to you guys in the next one bye